As we've uncovered tonight, the evil network of pedophiles included some of the most powerful and smartest minds in Britain. For years, they acted without fear of being caught, which was probably because one of their members was the second in charge of Britain's secret service. But the origins of their nefarious activities go back to a group called the Pedophile Information Exchange, or PI, which in the early 1970s openly campaigned for the age of sexual consent to be lowered to four. Now be warned, you're about to meet a member of that group who unbelievably continues to say pedophilia is acceptable. Tell us what PI was all about, the Pedophile Information Exchange. PI was an organisation uh, for people who had a sexual attraction uh, to children. And we thought our illegal um, interest in children ought to be made legal if uh, it concerned relations with uh, young people who were consenting to a relationship, if they were willingly involved. Tom O'Carroll is a self-confessed, unrepentant pedophile and one of the founding members of the Pedophile Information Exchange. He now shies away from advocating the age of four. Too easily misunderstood, he says. Uh, the age of four came into it insofar as children by that age are normally verbal and can normally say whether they are uh, liking a particular kind of activity or not. You believe and advocate that it should be OK for an adult to have consenting sexual relations with a child aged 10, so long as it doesn't involve penetrative sex? Well, the emphasis here is on, the, on consenting, the willing, free, um, uncoerced, um, involvement of the child, yes. And can I ask you this though, do you believe still that the majority of children at the age of 10 can communicate their consent to a sexual act? Yes, I do, yes. Um, so, so I, I, I don't see that that is a problem, communicating their consent. What constitutes consent? The willing involvement of a child, it's really quite simple. But how does one judge that? That is a matter, of, as it is with adult consent, for the people involved. Tom O'Carroll's self-serving views are a chilling insight into the mindset of the pedophiles who achieved positions of great power in British society. O'Carroll and four other members of Pi were prosecuted and jailed in 1981, but a sixth member of the group was identified at the time only as Peter Henderson. He escaped prosecution. OK, I've got another photograph to show you. Mm -hmm. Do you know this man? I know this man. Who is he? This Peter Hayme. Did he have sex with you? Yes, we had oral, well, yes. The pedophile who called himself Peter Henderson was, in fact, Sir Peter Telford Heyman, deputy head of the British Secret Service, MI6, one of the most powerful men in Britain. Heyman was caught with diaries full of sadistic sexual fantasies about children. But the spy chief was allowed to walk free. He's the one who carried the brown book. What, what was the brown book? Like a brown diary. He put notes on it. What, so he kept notes about what he'd done to you? Maybe what I say. He had a brown dark book. He carried it in his pocket. For decades, powerful men like Heyman were allowed to get away with their crimes. But even today, Tom O'Carroll argues he and other pedophiles should be allowed to have sex with children. You keep saying, by the way, it's sex with children. It's not sex with children. It's sex, most people think, is sexual intercourse, penis in vagina, and um, 
a, a, a guy banging away until he gets orgasm. That's not what I mean by sex with children. What are you talking and about? I don't, I, don't think, I don't think we should talk in this sort of um, emotive fashion about okay, sex well, with children. What, what is a less emotive term? Erotic contact with children. And what would that involve? Well, it might involve a, a t a touching or a masturbation. In the warped view of the pedophile information exchange, the only harm caused by an adult having sex with a child occurs later, when the child is supposedly made to feel guilty about it. If they were traumatised, they wouldn't have gone along. You see, that's that... another lie that pedophiles spin. They, tell, they, they say that the kids aren't traumatised. And no, 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 me, I, I, no, wait, wait a moment. Believe me, they are traumatised, uh, Tom. Yes, but many years later, as a result well, of being told... Uh, why well, It matters because they would not have been traumatised but for being told that they had been abused. So this is the point. You'd say that it's not the paedophile that's caused the abuse, it's the responsible authorities like the police yes, and their parents. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So you don't accept that having sex with a child can cause any kind of... Well, let me error. tell you, we're getting peculiarly hysterical. Many years later, when people are told that they have been abused and it keeps being rammed into them from the media all the time, then that is the feeling they, become to, they come to get. They, think, they come to think, I must be traumatised because people keep telling me so. Okay, That's well, how it happens. Can I put to you, there's something in your book. Mm -hmm. There's a section in your book where you describe the scenario of a little girl sitting on a man's knee. Yes. And he, you, describe approvingly how sexual relations with that little girl can be, quote, negotiated mm -hmm. by hints yeah. and signals, mm -hmm. such as complimenting her on her knickers yeah. and yeah. testing her response. Yeah. And what would be the adequate response from that little girl, Tom? Enthusiasm. What would that constitute? How would the little girl show you enthusiasm for you wanting to have sex with her? Let's move away from... No, no, no. Let's stick to this issue. Well, all right. Let's, let's, let's so stick give, with give the me, issue, but let me, a, let me address it in my okay. own way. The little girl sitting on your knee, and you've just told her, I like your knickers. Let me address what, what it in my own way. What does that little girl do to indicate that she's willing to consent to have sex with you, Tom? How does somebody indicate willingness to have consent to anything? A little girl cannot possibly be a consenting partner in that kind of power relationship. She's sitting on your knee, for God's sake. Yes, You're she can. You're an adult. Yes, she can. You use the term enthusiasm. What does that little girl do to indicate that she's enthusiastic? I, 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 think, I think that we're going round and round in circles. No, what, well, what is the answer? We're, we're going round and round in circles. I've given you my answer multiple times, so I'll, I'll, I'll finish there. Which okay. is a non-answer. You just can't answer. Well, you think it's a non-answer. I think it's an answer. All right. <laughs> Disgraceful secrets are only now coming to light. Men occupying some of the highest positions in the land whose depraved crimes have scarred a generation of children. But for the victims of this scandal, for those who have lived their lives in pain, there is no walking away from this fight. You realise it's going to boil down to the word of a woman 20 years on, remembering what happened to her when she was between the ages of 6 to 11 years old. Yeah. They're really going to go your credibility, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for that because I've I've been very open about about my life and everything that's gone on in my life. There's nothing that I've got nothing to hide. I'm lucky to survive, but I survived. Some of the others didn't. I'm the, 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 the door that opens up everything. And to those men who abused you, you are their worst nightmare. Yes. They're, going to, they're going to be lying in bed at night worried that Richard Kerr's evidence is going to catch up with them. They're going to get a knock on the door.
We'll be sure to keep you updated on the progress of the police investigation. And remember, you can join the conversation about tonight's show by using hashtag 60 mins. Still to come. It's always good to have the safety on. Go! Watch out, Charlie. There's icebergs about. Right Do you love an iceberg? Saddling up with the coolest of cowboys. Larry Moustache, take back on. Let's go back in slow. We can't understand a word you're saying. Oh, sorry, got the news. Leave the anchor on the water. To hunt down a million dollar iceberg. You're quite a character. Skull. That's next on 60 Minutes.